Our next topic of the day, and this comes from Thailand, but it's a global issue. Saving lives or saving human rights? Which one is more valuable? The Cash 22. Faced with the bug pandemic, several countries have given special powers to their leaders, regardless of the political system in place, to ensure that they can manage and fight the bug effectively and in a timely manner. There is a high level of anxiety and fear, however, that these special powers once granted will be misused in the name of fighting the pandemic. Worse, still, in certain countries, there is a strong possibility that these special powers might continue and subsequently become a permanent future in the months and years to come. How leaders and their citizens are in interacting with one another during the bug crisis provides some clues to the future ex exercise of power. During emergencies, freedom of movement can be severely restricted such as through a lockdown. Modes of production can be altered and freedom of expression curtailed. As the virus continues to spread and cause death all over the world, the use of emergency powers may become even more strict and nation nationalistic if the curve fails to flatten. Both in developing and developed countries, there have already been huge outcries for the local populations and st stakeholders regarding and granting of emergency powers to ruling parties. For instance, last week the European Union was among one of the first to issue a warning to its members not to use measures to fight the bug for self interested political objectives. European, European, whatever. Okay, so this is my question then. Okay, so for you, after listening to this article, what powers do you think the government should be able to use and does use and uses them effectively in times of crisis? And on the other hand, what powers have they done that have stepped over the border and that you're afraid will never be rescinded or taken away? Please leave your comment below. I'd be interested in hearing. Hi, the small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal World News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.